subdivision one. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Hold on. That is not what I wanted. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to try it for the first time on stream. Oh no. Why does it turn into goo? Do I need to recalculate it? No, it's just goo and then it just breaks apart in her. Let's try it. Oh, ew, gross. I wonder if it's like not enough geometry now. Maybe I need to do self-collision? Maybe what I need to do is no gravity. Okay, this doesn't look right. Wait, why is her shirt like connected? Okay, her sleeve is literally a part of her torso. <laughs> Uh, miss, your gravity is too damn hard. <laughs> I put on like 0. 0.00296. Now you need gravity, but also hide stuff you don't need it interacting with. I'm just afraid if I hide too much stuff, she's gonna be too naky for stream. Oh, I turned the gravity off. Okay, this could be part of it. The fact that her whole neck hole is closed. I don't think- Oh my god, it's closed in all of the places! What have I done? How's it going? Welcome to the stream! I'm glad you could come and see my topology! Okay. So there's that. Her whole body turned to goo. It was bad. Oh my gosh. No, she's- she's got clothes on, it's okay. Like, there's nothing wrong here. I'll just put her shirt on while I don't know what I'm doing. How can I do this in a safe way? I'm just gonna like real quick make a new t-shirt because whatever's going on is despicable. All right, let's hide that hair again. Um, you're not, you didn't see this. Yeah, once I zero mesh it very low, you'll never, you'll never know what it once was. See, that doesn't even look like anything. It's not even a human. This is fine. <laughs> All right, let's just see if this can work in any kind of way. Um, okay, collision volume, uh, simulation. That seems a little weird. That doesn't seem right. I think it's working, cause- Oh right, the hair. <laughs> hmm. That looks kinda nasty. Maybe it's just the topology. I'm gonna half it again and just see what happens. Oh wait, it's not even on the lowest subdivision. <laughs> Whatever, we just half it until it works. Maybe if it wasn't so tight on her body. It's not really doing anything that interesting. What do you have in dynamic? Wait. Do I have to have dynamic subdivision on? I know they always use it in the in the demonstrations, but I don't know. I don't think I have a, a great grasp on what it's supposed to do. Allow shrink? I don't know, let's try it. It's kind of weird. Allow expand, I wonder what that does. Ooh, no! <laughs> oh no, that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Intentional. Okay, I need to get out of that. Self-collision? Am I wrong? No, I have to do self-collision. Strength? Oh, yeah, more stretch. I don't think I like the stretch. It just... It seems like it just becomes long. I mean, it's kind of got a cool effect in a way. But it's not really what I'm going for. Firmness? That's kind of cool. I mean, everyone wants wrinkles. Am I doing it wrong? What happens if I do firmness six? Oh, that's very firm. Ugh. No. No. Okay. I kind of like the wrinkling that's happening on the wrist. Inflate. What if I... Oh. Oh. 
What if I ex inflate it? Like, 10. <gasps> okay, so it really will inflate. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whatever I did, that was wrong. Man, now I messed with too many things. Let's cut them up. So dynamic subdivision. I turn it on. Dynamic thickness, the new option. Wait, where's that? It's inside. Oh, this thickness, thickness. This one thickness. Oops, oops. Oh, there it goes. Oh, her socks come off. It's not detecting the collision of the body. Now reduce the smooth subdivision to zero or one. All right, let's try it. I like have never used dynamic subdivision before. And the one time I did, it was an accident. And I was like, what's happening? Why is this all, why are all these like orange dots on my model? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna put on zero, see what happens. Does this make it work? Nope, that didn't. <laughs> Do I have to click apply? No, no apply, no apply. Okay, so I won't apply. Oh my gosh. Okay, now recalculate. So I select the body. I should be selecting the body, right? And oh no, select the socks and recalculate. Okay, so that is probably my whole entire problem because I was thinking that <laughs> that the the thing that gets collided with, which is the body, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna recalculate the socks and see. Ooh, <gasps> see that's way better. I mean, obviously this is not what I want to have happen, but. <laughs> for a sock, but... Ooh, that isn't good. It's like strength or something. Ooh. Ooh, that just straight up goes inside itself. Maybe it's contract. Maybe that's the one. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I know. I think I need to not have so much gravity. Oh. That's different. Maybe I'm just trying to ask it to do something that it isn't good to do. I think maybe just for socks, I'm gonna have to hand sculpt them. Just for science, I wanna see what this skirt is gonna do. Ah uh, yes, it's gonna become a blob. <laughs> you can use the brush cloth pull to create details in a sock. Just move the brush up to down. Ooh, okay, okay. <gasps> <laughs> it's a little bit too big though. Maybe it's actually kind of kind of working. Oh, I need to do maybe more firmness. Interesting. Ugh. <laughs> it's just so funny. I don't know. Ugh. Scary. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> wow. I think that's kind of cool. I think I could make it work in something. It might not be like for the socks. Because if I did that and I like smoothed it out a little bit, it could create some kind of, you know, detail if I worked with it a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. I'm enjoying seeing what kind of shapes come out of this. <laughs> You know, I used to have some of these, like, socks that were just huge and they were meant to be, like, super scrunched like this at the top and, at, you know, not at the bottom because they were, like, closed at the bottom, but they're, like, super scrunchy socks. Because, yeah, I've been noticing that these folds are kind of, like, intense. See, now at the lower polygons, it's, like... Like, I get bigger folds, and it kind of... It kind of seems to work, like, more fluidly, like... I don't know, dude, but it's just fun to do this. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So if I recalculate the skirt, how can I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Cool.
So what if I like push it against her? So it'll like stretch it out. Ooh, cool. Ooh, cool. Yeah, like if she wants to like have rolled up sleeves. I wonder how it would work with even less than that. Ooh. <laughs> cool. So what if she wants to roll out of her sleeves now? Uh, uh, uh. That's cool, then you can like try all these different things. It gives you a cool jumping off point. Honestly, this is pretty sweet. At least just using the brush stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to figure out how to do the dynamics perfectly, but I think I can figure out the brushes. What's cloth wind? Ooh. What kind of wind are I talking about? Oh, like, it just looks like literally just like blowing. Whoa. It's like you put a fan on it. <laughs> I wonder what it'll look like on the socks. Oh, I think it... Maybe I broke it. Okay, okay. I'm back here. Ooh. Yeah, you're like... <laughs> like you're skydiving. <laughs> yeah, like your socks fly off you and you fall out of the airplane. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Let's see what else... Cloth twister. <gasps> this is interesting. I wonder what I would want to use this brush for. <gasps> I can only really think of like if I'm literally making like like a bed sheet that somebody has twisted.